Hello and welcome to Gaming Ken. I'm Jack and uh, I'm going to try out a game that was suggested to me by my girlfriend. She knows I like to play a lot of uh, Kerbal Space Program. I'm into uh, watching SpaceX launches and things like that. And uh, this game is not yet released. <clears throat> this is the demo version and it's called Mars Horizon. Um, so based on the description uh, in the, the Steam uh, the Steam Store, it's take take control of an international space agency, or a national space agency, and essentially get to Mars. Uh, you know, launch rockets, some will probably explode. Um, uh, you know, to the moon, s satellites around Earth, and the moon and Mars, uh, and probably some other planets as well. Um, but I don't know how much we'll be able to get into because I'm going into this blind. Uh, get a feel for it as I'm as I'm doing this. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to get on with the game all right. Uh, and if it is enjoyable, I will be buying the full version and I will hopefully uh, stream it. Um, so let's. Uh, Get started right so select your agency ESA Russia and NASA so Russia will be Roscosmos most likely um, so the agency bonuses uh, these will be you know helping you do things so ESA is a European Space Agency Britain uh, France Italy Spain all that uh, these guys have spot on the space station as do Russia, as do NASA. Uh, these are all uh, groups that are part of the International Space Station, as well as Japan and Australia and all of that. Uh, so let's see, 100% rewards for joint missions, uh, increased chance of joint missions generating, uh, science bonus for diplomatic relations and 5% uh, pay payload reliability. Uh, let's see, no support loss for failed missions in Russia. Invalid launch windows become suboptimal launch windows. Uh, so that means even if there's uh, no launch window, we will still be able to, to, to send it up. Uh, and astronaut hiring cost and upkeep is less. Uh, let's see, achieving a top three milestone rank grants a double support bonus. Uh, plus one level to all vehicle parts and more contractors available for NASA. I think I'm going to go with NASA in the hope that one of those contractors is SpaceX uh, or ULA. Have access to the first era of the game. We'll be launching your first satellite and sending the first human into orbit. The game will end when you have completed the human space mission or January 1966 so this uh, this will be just getting into orbit but uh, like I said this is uh, the early preview this is the demo version so there will be more things to do once the uh, the game goes live so yeah it's uh, to earth Now, let's see. Before launching a payload in orbit, it's vital to test the agency's launch facilities with suborbital flights. These sounding rockets will carry an array of sensors and other experiments, but don't have the power to achieve orbit. Uh, so, yeah, uh, certainly seems like a good place to start. Uh, let's plan this mission out. So, uh, test launch. Design a vehicle for this mission. Uh, let's design a vehicle. Let's start building a rocket. Build a sounding rocket. So let's see. Got a small launch pad. Uh, yep, looks good. One month build time. Now let's rename it. And we will uh, call it the. Atlas. We'll call it the Atlas rocket. 
Your engineers will deliver a construction report once Atlas has been completed. 40% expected reliability. Uh, let's build the vehicle. The vehicle has been approved. Fantastic. So let's see, research, do we have the signs? We do not currently have the signs to do that. So uh, let's have a look, let's see how much can we can we research that? Yeah, we can research that. We'll get some more. Yep, so we can set that as research. Back. Uh, so let's boost to the next event. So we have 5% <clears throat> launch reliability bonus, awesome. So let's set training and launch date. Training, unavailable. It's an uncrewed mission anyway. Uh, so. so we go for April, so it's an optimal launch date. Confirm that mission setup. So we've got two months until launch. So we'll set some research. Um, I want a Viking upper stage for the next time around. And once we've upgraded our upper stage, we will then look at uh, some missions. So, boost to the next event. Let's see, Atlas has completed research. Uh, Russia is test launch, ESA is going to test launch. But that's all good because we are coming near to our test launch. But we're going to research some satellites. Next event, Russia have completed their test launch. So let's see, launch the mission. Bad conditions. Uh, one of the following. Right, so, our flight engineers have inspected the launch vehicle. One of the following events will occur during launch in flight engine failure, uh, system damage, so that's uh, less, 25% less mission reward. Research stuff smooth takeoff, 50%, that's fine. Secure launch neutral. It's most likely going to be systems damage, which means we will still get a reward, but it'll be reduced. At least we're not going to completely destroy the vehicle. 
I don't want to reschedule the launch. Systems damage, we got less, but we have leveled up. So we do have uh, some launch, some launch experience, which is good. We have the test launch done, awesome. We've got more support. We're going to request no milestones. So we could do another test launch anyway, but uh, we're going to go for artificial satellite. Um, so we have a Vanguard booster, but we might. Uh, have a look at a new upper stage at some point, probably the caster, or, and maybe a scout upper stage. But we'll see, so like, let's go to our next event. Test launch guidance system test. The, our research and planning guidance system requires a test on a basic sounding rocket. Let's build a sounding rocket, there we go. And what we will do is we will rename this one Vega. Set some research. We will uh, have a look into the uh, caster engine. To the next event, caster has been researched. We built another sounding rocket. We we'll called it the Vega. We'll do it this month. That's fine. Still got a month to launch. Let's uh. Let's research the research lab. We are ready for launch, optimal date, no training set. Let's uh, see how we go. Looks like much better weather this time around. So we still got a chance of systems damage, but it's most likely going to be a secure launch. That is fine. Five, four, three, two, one. We have lift off.
Yep, once again, systems damage, but we have leveled up. Awesome. So we can do joint missions in the uh, actual game, but not in the demo, but that's fine. So let's uh, fire a research lab in somewhere. I need to remove some stuff there. There we go. Let's, uh, yep, do that. And we will also research. Um, Spacecraft assembly facility. Go to the next month. into the uh, scout upper stage. So we won't build that just now. Oh, need to make some more money first. Looks like we'll need to uh, change our research and get the rest of these engines. Do some high altitude photography. Again, build a sounding rocket. That will keep the name Stargazer. Build the vehicle. To the next event. So it's 75% reliability, which means we should be closer to getting a So it's 70% 70 for the rocket plus 5% bonus. So we're a month to launch. And we've got some research done. So we'll get the next uh, bit of research underway. So 
So that's raining. So that'll bring our uh, success chances down. do is we'll reschedule the launch. What we'll do is we'll also set some training signs. Set a launch date to the next month. And confirm. And we'll research that. So to the next month, we go. Launch this mission. It's still raining. Conditions are bad, but not terrible this time. Most likely going to get a secure launch. You know what, we'll go for it this time anyway. Five, four, three, two, one. We have lift off. Systems damage, that's not too bad. So, to the next event. And we have got more money. Awesome. And let's uh, research the uh, explorer payload. Set, set our research to the Atlas Booster. And we do need to work on getting a medium launch pad after that. So we'll plan this mission, select the payloads. Small simple satellite. Prototype observation power. Uh, we'll go with uh, we'll go with the observation. that payload. Two months to that does. Uh, let's uh, base. Let's place a facility.
as we slowly build up Kennedy Space Center. And jump to the next event where we have the Explorer Observation Satellite science bonus but it has brought our launch reliability down so let's design the vehicle so design a new so we'll go with the Atlas 2 Uh, the caster is the most reliable, so we're going to go with that. Upper stage, what is our most reliable one? The Jupiter. Jupiter is the most reliable. So we will confirm that, we will build it. Researching now the Atlas stage. So we quick look here, right? New request available. Russia is launching their satellite soon, as is the ESA. We're nowhere near it. Which is upsetting, but still. Um, so yes, yeah, so let's build mission control. So we can get the medium launch pad and some astronaut training grounds. That's fine. Um, So we'll keep going until ESA has failed the their satellite. So we'll uh, do payload reliability training. Launch date is going to have to be in January. We'll confirm that. And what we'll do active missions. No. Um, Earth requests, so we'll. Oh, uh, well, we've got no mission slots available. I think that's why we need the next one. So Russia have their satellite up. So let's uh, build mission control. And set some research, which will be the uh, medium launch pad.
we've not done enough to increase our standing, so no bonus. So we will launch this mission. Gotta love the art style of that. It looks pretty damn cool. So I'm hoping for flawless ascent or secure launch. But we've got good conditions, so go for it. Bonus is there, no anything else, but we have a satellite in orbit now. Achieve Earth orbit is our next task. So let's connect to ground control. And do some visual spectrum sampling. Do the signal attenuation test and some manual data collection. And that failed. seconds but uh, I can live with that we will win that race big that is, we can we can work on that next round, let's uh
Let's go upper stage. And we'll go with the able upper stage. So once we have that upper stage, we will push on. We'll support that tree. Let's look at it in our orbit. So we'll get something into orbit, orbital radio, psyched payloads. So we'll go with the standard one. Build that payload. We've got another mission slot available. So let's do this one too. Call it the Falcon One. We have the Outer Space Treaty. So we will do that. So our orbital radio is complete. Let's do this. We've got rain. J 
is never good. Uh, let's see overall reliability, 67%. So what we're gonna launch anyway. Take off, yes. Sounding rocket max, and we got a nice big mission reward as well. So we need to build a launch vehicle. Uh, 79% we're definitely going for that Master engine. Hold that vehicle, we've got this slot, we don't have anything we can do with it though. Search Pioneer. Uh, go to base and see if we can place our medium launch pad anywhere. We don't have enough funds to do that, so skip to next month and the next month after. Awesome. We have got a nice big uh, budget boost. Let's see if we can now look at uh, that. That is not quite enough. So we'll research humans in space. We should now need to research payload. We're going with Mercury. to base and uh, we should be able to afford to build this yep but we have no space to place it so what we'll do is see if we can get rid of this yes insufficient funds to clear that's okay next month Built our new rockets, Liberty. Set ourselves a date, right? We are going for payload reliability. And we will set that as a launch date. We'll launch next month. Remove the obstruction, we will be able to place our medium launch pad there. And 
isn't it? It's just going to be a case of doing some small missions, get some money. Until we can uh, launch the big rocket to space. Overall reliability, 80%. So it looks like it's going to be a, a secure launch or a perfect trajectory. Let's uh, go for that. So collect uh, that. Well, that's fine. We should be able to, be able to manage that. Come on. Oh, just made it. Oh, 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 oh. Last turn. Uh, yes. If something goes wrong, which it didn't this time, awesome. Objective, awesome.
So we've got to discover all of these. And we need to figure out mission payloads. Oh, I think it wants Eden. No, it definitely still wants Mercury. That's fine. Um, Sixty fifty five. We're going with the one over eighty percent. We'll research the Delta. On this mission. Select a payload, we're going to the Mercury and we're just going with the standard payload. Build that payload. We've got one mission slot available. Let's see if we've got any requests. Um, we can do that one quickly. Engineers have identified a way to optimize a key component of the Mercury payload for your upcoming human and space mission. They estimate an increase of 10% to the payload's reliability, which is currently at 61%. Though the work will require additional funding, yeah, let's optimize it. So that's another sounding rocket built. Let's uh, set some training on the launch date. Uh, yep. So, science launch in January when everything is optimal. Hopefully, it's not raining again. We've completed the payload, the Mercury. Awesome. So let's design the vehicle. So select vehicle. Right, designing the vehicle. Upper stage is going to be Redstone. And it's going to be the Delta. That's the most. Yeah. And the booster is. the Delta. Let's set some research. Uh, we'll, uh, better research astronauts to take 
take up, eh? We haven't uh, improved much, but that's fine. Let's launch. It's a nice day, by the looks of it. Overall reliability, 99%. So let's uh, launch. Four, three, two, one. We have lift off. Our suborbital rocket went like it should. So seven months till we complete that. Uh, base, new building. We don't have the astronaut training facility yet, uh, so let's keep going until we So base new building astronaut training facility. Oh we don't have the it's fine. We don't have the space for that right now, so we will Remove that obstruction and we should be able to fit it in there. Uh, we will be ready to start hiring astronauts soon. Is we'll research the rest of the boosters in the meantime. So we we can launch once we have an astronaut. So in the meantime, why don't we take on some requests? Take on a request. Send a different uh, payload up. Or we'll just wait till uh, we have the. This one on. I'll sign this astronaut.
they're best to increase the payload reliability. Launch date February. Because that is optimal. Confirm the mission. And we'll uh, go with the extra power model. And build that payload. We'll set some research. We'll go with Sally Imaging. Right, no, we'll go with Animal in Space. We're getting there. Sign the vehicle to take it up. Build a ridiculous one. So we move to the next month. Let's see if we can launch human into space. Launch the mission. That is rain. Which is not good. Overall ability, 81%. No, that is good. We will continue Five, on. Four, three, two, one. We have lift off. Oh, no, no. Damn it. Let me get back to it.
build the payload, need to hire a new astronaut. Can't afford to hire them, that's the problem. Next month. That makes sense. So, we have built the second version. So we designed the vehicle. Task A3, do, do, do. yep, we'll stick with what we know, and save the design. We'll just rename it. Maybe we need to uh, Oh, it seems we failed that. Question is, can we build it? Yes, we can. It's this one that's uh So let's do this. Ah, rain. That's just a satellite.
Mission Control is raining again. How long for that? Seven months. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, in fact, if we do that, mm. if we do it then, we can get it before the budget changes. <laughs> We're going to reschedule one race so over six months. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do it in May. The International Geophysical Year, a global initiative to gain more geophysical data on Earth, is taking place in three years' time. Organizers have requested that your agency launches a satellite to collect required data. If accepted, your agency will be expected to complete the satellite imaging mission within three years of the current date. You will receive uh, 750k immediately and 750k if successful. It's funny, I've just completed that research. Uh, so let's uh, complete the uh, payload for it. And we will launch this mission. If we can't launch it this time, we will... If we can't launch it by the time the payload is ready for... Oh yeah, we can launch this time. I was going to say we were going to abort this mission if uh, the payload was researched. And we were going to work, focus that and uh, human in space. This time, and we have leveled up the booster and the upper stage. So let's do this right. So, three of each we need to collect.
Oh no. It is fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. Resolve the turn. And don't show that message again. And boom. Accept. And that one, and that will, that will get us there. And I've got the things backed over to resist. Suboptimal launch windows become optimal launch windows. This can launch any time. So we'll assign this astronaut. Science. Facts. Once in November, we'll get that uh, bonus. We need to mission payloads. So we've got all of that done. Awesome. It's just buildings we've got left, isn't it? No. We have one we have one upper stage left to research. And let's get the rest of the buildings. So we'll build a rocket test pad. Not launching, I'm not risking it in the rain. Not a chance. In fact, actually, do you know what? The chances of a successful launch are. Ninety one percent. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for it. Five, four, three, two, one. We have lift off. Oh, man, ninety one percent.
So let's go next month, next month. Support is increased. Yay, we completed the payload. So next we will design the vehicle. Designing the vehicle is easy, we just uh, one of these just go with the delta parts. Uh, I've reminded that we've got 18 months to do the satellite imaging, but uh, we should have it uh, soon. We have removed the penalty for suboptimal launch windows, or lessened it, and but the but there's more chance of having suboptimal launch windows. Um, Go for a March launch. Send someone hat. I would. All, I would love a NASA hat. Maximum mission training bonus increased by 100%. So we will launch this. So we'll use that, and we will launch this. September. 
should have already got a launch in March. So that's two launches incoming. Couldn't get it done. Oh no. But there we go. That has been the demo of Mars Horizon. Uh, that has been a very enjoyable game. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, I've been Jack from Gaming Ken, and as always, there's always room for you here at Gaming Ken if you want to be our friend. And remember to stay safe out there.